Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider to subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. I want to show you what we got here. We got this sandbar. This is Samsung Sandbar B650 B series. This sandbar deserves your attention. This sandbar can hook it up to your TV via Bluetooth optical cable and HDMI. This sandbar got seven speakers and 430 watts audio power output. This sandbar is with wireless subwoofer. What we want to do is unbox this stuff, check it out and see what is inside. It's with Dolby Audio. So let's check this stuff out and see what is inside. I hope it will help you to make informed choice. This sandbar is 3.1 channel sandbar, 430 watts audio power, top 4 features, visual DTX, subwoofer included for deep rich bars with wireless subwoofer, bars burst, extra bars, big sensation, built in center speaker. So we're going to check this stuff out, see what is inside. Nice. The subwoofer. This is the pack for remote control and power cables with wall mounts and the manual included in the pack. Nice, this is the main sandbag here. Ready and stuff, you can see what it looks like. So, this sandbag got metal grill, and the top it looks like plastic or wood. This is wood actually. This is the back is plastic black, and the ports you have USB power cable goes in DC 24 volts. The power cable goes in here, and the port this end you have HDMI to TV ACK and HDMI. You also have optical digital audio optical goes in here. This is brilliant stuff. Subwoofer. There we go. See what it looks like. This is brilliant.
so this is the power cable so you take one power cable plug it on subwoofer at the back push it in plug it onto this socket take this power cable connect it to this push it inside it it's in back and plug this on to DC DC 24V and plug it onto the power this is the remote control and the battery So this is the remote control. So take the battery, push push the cover down to open it up. Then you take the battery, neg negative goes up on the right. Okay, so when you are holding the remote control, the negative need to go up on the right. Then on the left, negative need to go to the bottom on the left. Okay, then you push this back up, the cover back up. Okay, and this up. Now, I'm going to connect this using a mobile phone. So what we need to do is we need to switch on the sandbar. And it's on. The sandbar is on showing us DG in. Then if you look at the back here, there is a steady blue light to show you the sandbar is linked up with the subwoofer. Okay, so now what we need to do is use the remote control select bt but before we do anything i want to tell information about this remote control with this remote control you switch the soundbar on and off this button here is input you use this button to select hdmi optical and this button here is bluetooth so you select bluetooth it will show you bt when you select bluetooth it will show you bt pairing so looking for available bluetooth device now the next thing we need to do is so go to any device you want to use to set this up we want to connect this using the mobile phone for example so go to your mobile phone settings and go to connections then switch the bluetooth on so the bluetooth is only showing us blue color select that bluetooth now scroll down and look for available bluetooth device here we go samsung sound by b6 series select on it Bluetooth pair request select pair Then you go on top and you see connected for audio now we want to test this Soundbar audio using epidemic sound epidemic sound is music for content creators. So go to epidemic sound going to go to saved music Saved music This is the audio.
speak up. I'm going to talk to you about the remote control. You switch this soundbar on and off from this button. This button here is the input for you to select HDMI, optical. This is Bluetooth. The center is pause and play. You also have up and down and sideways. The sideways is for you to go front. This sideways right one is for you to go front to the next track. This back one is for you to go back to the previous track. This center one is pause and play. This button here is mute. On this left side, you see plus and minus is for you to increase the volume. If you push it to plus, you increase the volume. If you push it downwards, then you decrease the volume. Then this is channel. If you select the channel button, then you use up and down to go to the next one. This button here is subwoofer if you push it upwards you increase the volume if you push it downwards then you decrease the volume this button here is tone control if you select tone control it show you treble then you use up to increase the treble to plus to plus six is the maximum then if you also select tone control again You go to bars, then increase the bars to plus six. Use the plus to increase the bars. You select the bars and tone control from. You select bars and treble from tone control. You select this button to select night mode. So the button with gear is night mode. When you select, so you switch night mode on and off. And this is channel center. You use up and down to go to channel level you want. Then this is sound mode. This is surround. This is game, game. So use the sound mode to select game, adaptive. DTS visual.
show all my feelings. This is Samsung B650 soundbar with wireless subwoofer. What I want to do is to show you how to connect this to your TV using optical cable. This soundbar can connect it to your TV using optical cable, HDMI and Bluetooth. The cables are not included in the packaging so I'm using the one I got in my office. So to hook this up, what you need to do is first of all, you need to unplug the soundbar and also unplug the subwoofer take the cable this is optical cable then go at the back okay where it's written digital audio optical so push the cable inside it and the cable is in okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to take the other end of the cable go to the back of your TV where it's written digital audio out so put this cable push it inside the cable is in okay now the next thing we need to do is do is you need to plug the soundbar to the power plug the subwoofer and also plug the TV on to the power also plug the TV on to the power Now go to the soundbar and use the input to select. So use the input to select DG in. Can see DG in? Okay. Now go to the TV settings. Scroll down to the sound. And it's showing us TV speaker. You need to select on it. Then scroll to the side to optical. Optical out device select on it. This sound banner is connected. Now, what you need to do is you need to increase the vol volume using the sound bar remote. Restrictions for this is the audio uh, security reasons, um, particularly driven by the context of, of the ongoing war in Gaza. and if you look at the back here, the sound bar is linked up together, even higher and could make it even more complicated to so get this is the audio. true steel. Our correspondent Yolan now there. Well, in another development, Benny Gant. They need your help, kids. This is the audio. I think done up this pro national cast of ex islanders ready for some healthy competition. Winners win, and I'm a winner. If I have to play dirty, I'm gonna play dirty. Mom, Thank you very much, guys. I'm this is how to hook this so up to your TV via optical yeah. cable. Now, what I want to do is to show you how to connect this soundbar to your TV via Bluetooth. This soundbar is currently connected to this TV using HDMI cable. HDMI cable and optical cable are not included in the packaging. This is the optical cable. So if you want to hook this soundbar using HDMI or optical cable, then you need to buy the cable separate. What I want to do now is to show you how to connect this soundbar to your TV via Bluetooth. So what I'm going to do is remove, unplug the HDMI cable. And you can see the audio is from the TV. Information war by publishing what appears to be intercepts of the 
so 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 this is hdmi cable now what we want to do is first of all we need to go to the tv setting to connect this to your tv via bluetooth you need to use the input to select bt so you need to select bt and it will be in bt pairing okay so you can do this use select by selecting use the remote control button select bt it will be in bt pairing now go to your tv settings scroll down to the sound and it's showing us now tv speaker you need to select on the sound now scroll to the side to bluetooth and this is the bluetooth you need to scroll down and look for device list select enter and it's now looking for available bluetooth device okay and here we go so it picked up samsung sound by b series it's available you need to select on it and it's connecting it's connected now you can increase the volume when it's in bluetooth you can increase the volume using the tv remote likewise the soundbar this is the audio because i'm increasing the volume using the soundbar remote control likewise this is tv remote control you can also increase the volume you see it here so, so i move this around i don't because i don't want to move, leave it in one particular place if you want to check this then you need to select your tv settings then you need to scroll down to the sound and it's showing us now bluetooth device so this is how to hook this up to your tv via bluetooth and when it's in bluetooth like i said earlier you can control the volume using the tv remote likewise using the soundbar remote control with the soundbar remote control you can select you can select bass boost so it's now bass boost you can also select standard this is standard this is surround game you use sound mode to select every other mode you want this is adaptive this is dts visual x so basically this is how to hook this up to your tv via bluetooth so what i want to do now is to show you how to hook this up with hdmi cable and before you do anything make sure you unplug the soundbar and also unplug the subwoofer and the tv now take hdmi cable then you go at the back of your soundbar where it's written hdmi to tv arc so it's in push the cab cable inside it and it's in hdmi to tv arc then go at the back of your tv Take the other cable. So here my TV E arc. Here my in two TV arc. So this is where we connected the second cable. Now the next thing you need to do is plug in the sound bar to the power plug in the tv and plug in the subwoofer now if you look at the back of the subwoofer it's currently flashing once you switch the sound bar on it will link up together so we need to switch the sound bar on Okay, the samba is on then we need to select use the input to select dgn can see dgn so use the input to go to dgn then check the subwoofer again you can see a steady blue light 
the light is no longer flashing they are now linked together now we need to switch the TV on so switch the TV on So it's actually connected. Put his weight behind it this is the audio. Much more what you need to do is you need to go to the TV settings. The reason I suspect is what, but, but scroll it's down to the sound. Is under and he's showing us now HDMI act device. If if it's not in HDMI act, you need to select on it. When you select the sound, you select on it. Then scroll to the side and go to wherever you see HDMI, you can see it's moving side to side okay so if you select this is now a tv speaker you can see the audio from tv speaker this is the tv audio then you need to select the sound scroll to the side to HDMI, select see the difference so there's a massive difference and also with the, the soundbar remote control you can select bars you can select any other features so basically this is how to hook this up to your tv and they're showing us now tv app it's a lovely day isn't it oh you look beautiful mother so guys thank you very much indeed